Bloody hell. Bloody jungle. Good afternoon ladies and gents, this is the day after the 20 kilometre walk, but yesterday evening I saw a couple of people which meant some good news, so do stay tuned. Today is also a little bit of a sample of the head mount using the bike so you seem to like it yesterday for those of you who watched the live stream on the Travel Agent Hanoi channel. If you didn't get to see that do click on the links in the description the 20 kilometers all around here beautiful so down by the river a few of you know this by now a bit quicker today so today's video is really to check out what's open. Look at that. There they are. Ridiculous. I don't want to go back to work. I want to stay doing this. River on one side. Cows in the middle. Rice fields on the right. Stuck in the middle with you. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey. hey. <laughs> the guy down there slapping the water for the fish. So yes, today is to check out where I can go because two of our nieces popped around. One of them had borrowed a motorbike from Nat's sister a couple of weeks ago and then got locked down. So yes, you guessed it, they've opened up the village. So I thought I'd go out on my bike, see where I can go and do another walk. Now I'm looking to live stream this tomorrow as well. So it's going to be a different walk to the one yesterday. I'm not sure how long I'm going to go. Sorry guys, I nearly missed the view. Beautiful. The sun shining, the clouds behind. Absolutely stunning. Yes, so I'll have a look, see where I'm able to go. If it's all blocked off, then it's no, still not a possibility to walk there. So, recently I've been doing the walks around the rice fields, 
near my village but I wanted to get out and about to see more scenery wouldn't be a trip out without seeing a conical hat would it? look at that building, love it Luscious green rice field guys and down this end they're going to be further on than the ones near our village so they're going to be getting towards the golden colour so I'm hoping the 19th of September I'm going to have lush golden rice fields all around here and honestly guys you've got to tune in for my live stream I hopefully get it right for the 19th of September now it might be a little bit windy on the microphone but it's been very hot these days it just overheats the camera too much Cemetery in amongst the rice field. So my legs were really done in yesterday after 20 kilometers. So I've definitely got to do a few of those and and longer. Hello! Hello! My calves were killing me. My thighs. My shoulders for some reason. I wasn't carrying much. I thought I might as well go out and do a little bit more exercise today, maybe loosen up from yesterday. And I'm, uh, yeah, gonna try and do a live stream tomorrow on Travel Agent Hanoi. I can't do live stream on Vietnam Village Life, I don't have a thousand subscribers. But if you do want to change that fact, <laughs> then if each of the 375 or 85 introduced one, I'd be over my thousand. That's all it takes, guys. And then I can do a live stream on the bike, walking, kayaking. It's going to be beneficial. Look, it's looking yellow here. Ooh. So the village I've just come past is the one that was locked down. So there's no barriers. And that's my beer hoy behind that truck. But no beer hoy today. I haven't had a beer hoy in about three weeks. Ah, look, we can't go down that way. Whew. Or can you go this way? Ah, oh, there's some people here. Get 
up at one point. In fact, that's told me I can't go over the river because, oh, you bugger. If I can't get across there, I can't get across down here. There's some goats here. I've seen goats for a while. This actually might be quite a short run with not being able to go across the river. I may be able to further up, but I can't get across at the Beer Hoy. It's blocked off. And would you believe the village is this side of the Beer Hoy? There's only a couple of businesses and factories like the one I visited on the other side, so the beer hoy guy will be really annoyed. They didn't set up the post just after the beer hoy, that would have been ideal for him. He could still get the villagers going around and have a few beers. I'm sure they need a few after being locked down for two weeks. Working. I feel my legs now. It's uh, been raining the last couple of days, so the paths are a bit flooded. With the heat during the day dries off quite quickly. If that <clears throat> border just before the Beer Hoy is because it's the next province, Hanam. If it is, then because the river is the the tide, it's like the border. Beautiful. The colour of the berries on the right hand side there, the yellow ones. Ugh! I hope there's no spikes on that one. Look at the pond. a bit of plant. Hey, Xin Chao! <laughs> Big smile. Oh. 
check the tyres. So this will be the route I'll walk. Either tomorrow or the day after. Not sure yet. I'm still wary of those nettles with spikes on. Dump. No idea what she was saying. Got a mask on and speaking Vietnamese, 100,000 miles an hour. To a westerner. She asked me to do something for her. I'm in the middle of a bike ride. Oh, ah, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go, we'll go past the next bridge. I'm thinking that's blocked off. And then the furthest bridge. And I think that could be it. Time to turn around and come back the same way. <clears throat> grown before. Looks like it's been chopped away. Let's see if this guy moves that way. Beep beep! <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Come on! Moved his body out of the way but not the, not the chair on his back. Cheers mate. This bit's still overgrown. Not been down here to pave the way. Bloody hell. Bloody jungle. It must have been at least three weeks since I've done this this run. In fact, the last time I did this run, I think I was actually walking it. Coming 
up to the second bridge. And there's no point going across even if I can. I can't get back down the other end. So. How's the head mount? Better? There's a big pond. It's more like a lake. Very nice. Do you think this is as steady as the chest mount? Better angle, better view. I think that's 6.4 kilometers that I've done there. Oh no, can't get past. So it looks like I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> I have to turn back. I just at the pagoda as well, so. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Come on. So polite. Here we go. Oi, oi. So we've got no way through there, but at least we've got the, uh, the nice temple there and the big gong. I like how it just brushes, he just like waves me away. Cheeky bugger. Ah. Hello. Hey. Okay, so not as far as I thought I'd it go. I mean, that's, that's before getting across to the bridge, just a few hundred meters, I think. So, hmm. Oh, is that about 6.4? Well, six and a half kilometers. So, hmm, still not really worth walking down that way. I think it's probably still doing my 5k route walk round but people will get a bit bored of that I think on the live stream so I could I could walk down to this junction up here and maybe turn right and then go through the villages that way so I might have a look see what's what's occurring if I go this way, instead of going back through the jungle, I'll go around. This is a new, new territory for, for you and me. So, if my battery runs out and it suddenly stops, apologies, I've got lost. I could go down here and take a right up there somewhere to double back if there is a place this cool. ah, how come they're open? why is my kid not at school? There's a lavish looking cemetery. Oh 
always keeping a check on my bike, on my tyres because I've had such a nightmare recently. I mean, I've even had a flat tyre on my shoe, a flat shoe. through something different anyway if I measure up that's about 400 meters to that junction hello there could be a six kilometer walk there whatever this is see I've got my shoes on I super glued the sole it seems really bumpy this bike not very smooth running I mean, the road's not great but feels like the tyres are not right I have been down here. I'm going for a treat actually. So do stay tuned. There's always somebody building something. I bet he's got a small window at the front. He has an eye. Oh dear. Oh, got a terrace. I'm building a house looking onto a rice field. I've, I've big windows. The big pond. Hello! Water buffalo. Some people don't know what they do when they hear somebody shout hello. Hello, Sin Chow! Beautiful out there. Oh, he's all right. Bikes falling over. Yeah, if I come this way walking, long road, but look at the view. Yeah, I could do that for you guys. Walk this view. You see the the hill there Paul still got to get up the bugger bike feels all right on this road yeah I'm sorry but I'm not sorry that you guys can't be here but me and Paul have got an idea. My pith helmet, the green one, the Viet Cong one, <laughs> is, uh, is for sale and like mine. Now Paul's bought one already through my link and it's, it's basically a way of helping the channel. It's only a, I think it's a pound commission. But that pound will go towards the channel and be able to do stuff so I thank you Paul for doing that so what we're trying to do is get all our loyal supporters to, to buy a pith using my links in either 
the UK or America. I think the same company sends it to America. So I'm working on the Australian one, guys. Canadians, I'm sure you'll be able to use a get sent from the US. But it seems strange that I've got to join every single bloody Amazon local company website to get the commission. But if we all buy the pith helmet, then what I'd like you to do is send me a just a video of you wearing it, smiling, laughing, whatever, <coughs> for about five seconds, and I'll edit it down to about two, and I'll put a short video up on the channel to show all the supporters wearing the hat. That would be brilliant. <coughs> It'll just be like a quick two second shot of each person. So if I can get up to a minute, that'd be brilliant. Shorts videos, if you don't know, are the new YouTube thing. Hash shorts. Hashtag shorts. And basically, it's just less than a minute and it gets quite a lot of views. So hopefully you can get a good video put together. If you just stand central to the screen, and video it, a few seconds, I'll, I'll edit them all together with a bit of music. I think it'll look pretty cool. Watch where you're going in the road. You didn't look. I think this is the way I've been. Yeah, it must be. It's recycling place. And also, when you come out to Vietnam, I'd really love it if all you supporters came Uh, and seen me at the village. Oh, I'm actually closer than I thought. I'm in the next village. <laughs> I thought it was further away, so there is no special treat. That's gone already. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, when you come and visit me, we'll get a short video together post on the channel for all the people that have been to see me in the village I'll take you on a, a kayak ride I'll try and get another kayak but that's about $300 so that's a bit much to buy I've only got a single kayak so uh, you could go out on the kayak yourself um, you take the uh, bicycles out I've got a couple of bicycles go around the places that I've been you can even do a walk take you around the five kilometers circuit in your pith helmet of course <laughs> so yeah that's something fun something to engage all the loyal supporters there's quite a few of you now guys appreciate it This is where I turn in to go on my walk, just there behind. So yesterday I did it twice clockwise and twice anti-clockwise to give people a different view.
So just a short video today guys, if the camera's still rolling that is. <laughs> Been chatting away for 30 minutes and nothing going on. Hey! There's a guy I stopped for a cup of tea at when I did a village walk around. Here's the big house guys. Looks like I'm just in time for a shower. Nice music. Oh, that's a bloody karaoke. Nice. Karaoke while you're building. Awesome. Yeah, there looks like a bit of a cloud coming over. There we go, guys. All the way around again. Remember not to make sudden movements with my head. <sighs> so I was saying to the people yesterday on the video live stream, I haven't had a beer in about three weeks. And I'm going past the beer hoy again. My god! Beep, beep. All over the road. So if you didn't see my video yesterday, the news is I'm going to be going out camping in the rice field. I'm going to spend a night out in the car in the tent. Check out what it's like overnight. The creepy crawlies and snakes and rats and what have you. And then I'll be doing some kingfisher spotting. Yeah, more about that to follow. Cheers guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the following. Click like, please. It helps with the algorithm. And I'll see you the next time. Cheers. Gingy.